Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Zach, and welcome back to my channel of Ruby Mythology. Today, we have another Ruby discussion, and well, there's several things I want to go over. One, I'm not feeling well. Second, uh, you guys now will hear the intro or the outro no more. And three, um, I think that's pretty much it, I think. But before we get, oh, yeah, no, wait, the third one was you might hear the fan in the back. I'm not turning that off. I'm just leaving that on for right now. So, yeah. I just want to clear out, clear out all of those out of the way. Uh, before we get to it on, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more Ruby content. That shows me it's a lot to me that you guys want to see more of my Ruby content on this channel. And this came to my head, uh, yes, last night. But there's several things I was thinking about it. I was planning to do like a video about what kind of creature that Salem will make other Silver Eye Warriors to be besides just a hound. But before I was about to make the content something like that, I came across a video about Murder Birds who did a video about he believes that Summer Rose is not dead and here's his reason why. And there was a scene when he showed a clip about um, a clip about it. So pretty much this Pretty much this discussion is basically about both Summer, Salem, and the Hound. Well, you can see the title. You pretty much know what this is going to be. So, there's several things I want to go over. I think I should go over on Salem first. Salem is a five villain. We all know that for sure. And... Her goal is pretty much she wants to make sure that everyone who's in a way be wiped out, especially for Silver Eyes. She wants all the Silver Eye Warriors to be wiped out, but she changed her mind that she wants to kidnap these Silver Eye Warriors so she could use them for an experiment project, like what she did to the Hound. And in the first Ruby Handbook dictionary, fictionally confirmed book or whatever. It actually stated what is Salem's actual plan. Her plan is to get all the four maidens so she gained more power so she could so she could turn to remnant into darkness so they would know her as the Dark Queen. So pretty much my theory and my discussion about you know uh, what is Salem's plan was actually true. It's actually been confirmed. Because I made like a discussion theory about it. What is Salem's true plan in her own way. So I made a video of it on my main channel. And I had a figure that that is Salem's plan. That she is just using Cinder for a vessel for all the maidens. And when, she, when Cinder gets all the four maidens. Salem will backstab Cinder and kill her by taking all the four maiden power for herself. So she could stand off against both God and Light, so she could get revenge on both of them. So pretty much that's her actual main goal. So the only way she can do that is she gets all the relics and all the four maidens. So yeah, and when it works, imagine the God of Light reaction that his creation of Silver Eyes are being used as a spearman for as a Grim. His the brother Light and Dark will be freaking horrified of that. Light, literally. And um, was something I want to go over. In this, um, I think I should go over with Summer, cause I want to keep the Hound for last. Actually no. Actually no, I might as well do both at the same time. Well, first and first about Summer. Summer has been mentioned in the entire Volume 8 and and also Volume 7. Within Salem. And there's been hints that somehow Salem did something to Summer. And it's so fucked up. We honestly do not know. And Monty Ohm surely confirms... That Summer Rose is being killed. She is dead 100%. But 
But some people are not going to believe that because how, why would they believe that if they keep hinting about Summer Rose in Volume 8 and Volume 7? We obviously do not know why. So, we do not know if she is even alive or dead. Maybe she is, but dead. Suppose she is alive and dead. Kind of like, well, she is alive, but she is turned into a Grim, which is that she is dead, but torture be part of a Grim. So, that's pretty much what I'm saying. Plus, there's a fan art that I came across on Twitter. Uh, what you can see right now is what would Summer Rose would look like if Ruby actually fought another type of higher Grim of who is still into the Hound, and it reveals to be Summer Rose, and Ruby would be freaking devastated to see her own mother is becoming one of them. What Salem did to the Silver Eyes, and that would be freaking Dunshrug. Just imagine everyone's reaction. Both um, Yang, Ruby, Crow, Ty, and Raven. Even though Raven doesn't care. But it just imagine the monstrosity that Salem did to Summer. He will be, she will be shocked. And don't know what I would say. If I had to say which Grim um, that Summer would be. It's pretty obvious. Is uh, a wolf. Not a bell wolf. Like an actual werewolf type. Because Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf thing. Yeah. That's pretty much what the idea is. Anyway. And speaking of Grimm. We need to talk about the Hound. In the, in the 100th episode of Ruby Volume 8. Well, aka Chapter 8 for Volume 8. Now, you guys remember the music play after the Hound Grimm was killed? After we see the face reveal of a silver eye? And there was a lyrics in the back. It was different language. It was different language. But the man, the person who actually made the song, his name was Alex. And he actually confirmed of the translation of the actual lyrics, basically a different language, and I got it here, and I actually was, I actually got the chills, and it still gets me to this day, while I'm thinking about it, and the these are four lyrics that Alex actually translated, confirmed it. The lyrics said, "You silver-eyed warrior, Salem took me. Don't fright for me." Don't you cry. Your silver eyes for me. So pretty much what it say, what it mean is, this is the lyrics for this silver eye faunus who is tortured and telling that, pretty much telling Ruby that don't be afraid of me, don't cry for me, that your silver eye saved me from this torture. From this pain that Salem did to me. She took me away without having a uh, fight back. She took me away, torture me, experiment me, become this monstrosity. You saved my life with your silver eyes. Because of you, I am free. So basically, is pretty much what the letters actually is. Basically, oh my god, it's so damn dark. When you think about it. And the lyrics is literally mean for the hound. The silver eye faunus. Because he wants to be free. He is. He's been tortured too much. So. I feel like this lyrics. Is more than just for. Just the silver. Just for this faunus silver eye. It's pretty much for. All the silver eye wars. Who are captured and taken by Salem. To become one of the Grimms. And they need to be free. By other Silver Eye Warriors. Just like Ruby did for this. Uh, Silver Eye Faunus Hound and Grimm. So I feel like. Ruby had to go through this situation. Again. But this time it's going to be. Her mother. 
and her mother had to try to communicate with Ruby to tell her to let her free, let her, you know, help her, let her free. The only way you can set her free is kill her. It's the only way to set her free from this torture, this pain, this uh, suffering. And it's the only way to put her down. So she, so her soul could be finally be at rest. And like I said, this shows how dark and fucked up that Salem could be. No, that this shows how much I love Volume A because Volume Eight is pretty much one of the darkest shit that we had so far than Volume Three. I mean, hearing that lyrics and hearing the reading the translation of the actual song from that episode. It gave me the fucking chills. And it gave me the goosebumps. And it's just like, holy fuck. I, I, it got me so scared. And it got me so scared for Salem. Literally, I felt fear from Salem. I felt, felt bad. You don't, at the same time, people were, were cool about Silver Eye War become a like freaking grim. But... But at the same time, you don't feel nothing because, like, thank God the Grim, uh, that freaking hound is dead. But apparently, you found out that he's a silver eye. But when you hear that lyrics and read the translation of the lyrics, you actually felt bad for this unknown silver eye faunus male who has been tortured and used and been taken for an experiment project from for Salem. And and then that showed that there might be more silver eyes that was taken by Salem and they need help to be freed. So it's just holy fucking hell. And I believe that Summer is one of them. Who knows, there might be more. We honestly do not know. But anyway guys, that's pretty much my discussion about this of Summer Rose Salem and the Hound discussion and yeah I can literally get nothing to say so hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe links to my other channels my social medias will be down below schedule wise you guys know a drill again like comment share subscribe and I'll see you guys later and as always keep moving forward